Hi, I'm Barbara, and this is my tiny home in River's Edge Tiny Home Communities, Rio Communities, New Mexico. I've been living in my tiny home for three months, and it is a eight by 24. I pay $400, that includes my sewer, and I pay separate for my water and electric. Let me show you the outside of the house first here. This is Tiffany, my mural that I'm just about finished with. It's actually the beginning of a bunch of different animals that I'm gonna put all around my tiny home. What inspired me to paint a mural on my home really was because the gray on this house needs color and I'm one who doesn't have a favorite color but man when it comes to color I can put whatever I want. I painted this from a reference photo of a runner that had been sitting in my backyard. So this is the basic type of tiny home mural that I like to do. I've done a couple in the past where it's the whole wall but this is what I typically like to do. All done in exterior paint or you can do it in side paint. My um, request is to use sign paint because it will last as long as your tiny home will last. I'm an artist of all trades pretty much. I paint murals, uh, mostly realism. I uh, do landscape, um, pet portraits, I draw, I paint, I do graphic arts. Um, on a singer-songwriter, I can harmonize just about anything. Yeah, I'm an artist. That's it for the outside. Let's head on inside the house and I'll show you what I got inside. Welcome to my tiny home. I call her Tiffany. She's about 200 square feet. This is my studio, living room, well, sometimes dining room. I have plenty of space to work on my art in here. By the way, this is all of my artwork that I have done, and they are all on my website for sale. I've been doing more drawings and murals than I have um, canvas paintings lately. There's a good example of one of the hummingbirds that I've done, and uh, there's Goldie, my dog. I do lots of... Uh, artwork in here and truly enjoy doing mother nature things um, this one i'm thinking of doing on the outside of my house as a painting so little by little we're going to get this together and uh, this basically is my library slash memory thing um, that i'm putting together still so on this side this is uh, pretty much the makeshift dining area where I just pull this out quickly and I access my chairs from over there and have my breakfast, lunch, or whatever in the chair. And when I'm finished, I fold it up. And that's that. Uh, I do have a small, you know, 400 watts of solar on the roof that I've got connected to a small power bank. And this one's my upgrade. And this is the TV. Nice thing about it is that it swivels. I can watch it from the kitchen or from the living room. It's very nice for reference photos when I'm painting or drawing too as well. I have uh, induction. I can also, if need be, I can do gas. I do have accessible to propane line underneath here. But yes, this is my induction top. I prefer induction because I don't like the excessive heat and I like the speed of how fast that it cooks. I keep my small appliances. For example, this is my frother. I really enjoy my frother in the evening to make my little uh, hot milk at night. I have an air fryer, and this basically is my oven. Everything that I eat pretty much ends up here most of the time. And I have my IKEA cabinets here that I, they're all recycled from my, my previous home. This is exciting, actually. 
This is my uh, little coffee roasting kit. About uh, once a week, I sit up outside and roast a cone of coffee for myself. Gotta reward myself, you know, spoil myself, that kind of thing, you know. It's the best. <laughs> this is my shelving, but it's a strainer slash cabinet for my dishes. It's nice to have over the sink and everything because it, you know, it drains easily. So we got here. Oh, this lamp. Oh my. This lamp is just sweet. I got it from the sweet lady out in the uh, south of Albuquerque. And it's got a, a light that dims and it doesn't like flicker when it comes on or anything. That's nice to have in the evenings when you don't want that bright light. A tough time in my life was I had lost my husband of cancer from COVID back in April. And and to go through the the uh, works of getting rid of everything I could, which was a good thing in my you know psychologically because anything that had to do with the husband that I've loved for many many years and been married to for you know almost thirty, very very close to him more than I was his stuff. So not that I hated his stuff, it's just that it was good to not have the restimulation of his stuff. So I. I had to use that as my leverage to move on and I knew I needed to go tiny and in my husband's will he was very blunt about going for my dream is getting this boxable slash tiny home. I um, sold the house. I was letting go of a very big dream though. I loved that home. I had put my heart and soul into remodeling it. It was very you know, dear to my heart. So I had to let go of that too. But I, my creating part of me, my aesthetic part of me, should I say, is what saved me. So my husband would always tell me, you always can make another one. You know, if you get a painting you're dream truly in love with that you didn't want to let go of, you just paint another one. I have hands and I still have eyes and I can still paint. And so, yes. That was my gear that kept me from, you know, not wanting to leave that house. When my husband was passing, he was in hospice and we, we both knew he was dying. So it wasn't an uh, instant thing. We just knew what was going on. And during that time, my music writing started coming to me. And it was about my new chapter. And the words and the lyrics I were about what is the morning after? Do I have to read this chapter? You know, do I really have to go here? But chapter, new chapter is definitely where I'm at now. I'm in the next chapter. I'm not at the end of the book. I know that. <laughs> here oh by the way this was replaced from a door that was a little too big but I put it in myself I'm pretty proud of myself I'm not sure what they're called though oh and by the way this is Goldie Goldie Hawn actually that's her name uh, she's my pride and joy pretty much and uh, inside my bathroom here is a washer dryer combo it's been pretty good to me um, this is basically some shelving that I put in myself. The closet is pretty open. Everything's pretty wide open in here for for storage for my, my closet. So, and this is basically more my vanity for storage. Oh, uh, and this is, uh, this is my favorite sink. I don't think I've ever had a bathroom sink so nice. I picked this out myself and put it in myself while attempted to put it in myself and had a professional finish that so <laughs> and this medicine cabinet came from my house that I that I sold and this is a shower here I have a uh, rain shower head up here and I am so glad I bought this teak wood on, that I've got on the floor of the shower it is so nice it smells so nice when you're showering it's and it just feels really good on your feet and now we're done with the bathroom 
I'll show you uh, on our way to the loft uh, a few things here. This is my Murphy desk. The Murphy desk is something that I found on Craigslist. Because I needed a separate space for work, on, when I say work, that doesn't mean art. That means, to me, it's like budgeting and bills and stuff like that. <laughs> Got to have that storage. Cool. Uh, yeah, down here, is Goldie's making herself well-known on the condo here that she has. <laughs> Very comfortable. So now we're going to go check out the loft. This is my loft. This is my place of rest. And it also, as you can see, is my music storage um, for my extra supplies when I go out and do gigs. It's pretty spacious. I actually have uh, an egress window that I'm going to be in getting installed here soon. I'm also getting going to get a, a skylight right above here because I am so crazy over the, the stars at night. I've got to have a skylight. I have the keyboard set up here in a way to where if I wanted to I just peel back the dust cover and it's already plugged in all you gotta do is power it up you know because I have I just have this thing about music coming to me in my sleep <laughs> so it's good to have that available I learned of tiny homes through a really cool commercial that I saw online called boxables they aren't really a tiny home on wheels. They were pretty, they're pretty much a home that gets folded up to the size of a container and they were just coming in to business right around the pandemic started. And I fell in love with the idea of being portable. It's funny, through the years I had no understanding on why I wanted to get rid of a lot of things until I saw the Boxable and I thought, oh, I need this. Boxable gave me a tour and I put money down on uh, on one of them and then did, found myself in a line of about 2,000 people and now it's more than 2 million people waiting with their deposits. I worked with a contractor that bartered with me on a tiny home. Uh, he had some murals he needed done in one of his tiny home communities out of Wichita. We worked out a really nice deal. Tim Zimmerman is the one who I worked with them. We, we instantly connected on a, and all my needs and wants for my tiny home. If you put the full costs in, excluding the bartering, 50000 If you kind of add all that stuff up together, there was a few things that I had them change. You know, I did a few things in here that, that were not of my interest, so I just had him remove them and change them around but yeah I mean after all the costs and everything if you take the bartering and put it in place it takes it down to about 30 yeah it was it was great and the guy was great to work with he's a lot of fun I learned of River Edge by responding to an ad for the tiny tiny home which is one of um, Jill's Airbnbs at, and on the ad, it was for sale. I had gone and, and looked at it and everything. I mentioned the name Boxable, her and her eyes lit up like a Christmas tree. And it was from there on out, we connected. And then my husband did handyman work for her for a while. And Jill and I stuck together like sisters. In fact, we've been mistaken for sisters. Uh, Howie was uh, actually one of my first uh, mural customers here in the tiny home village. I have been very uh, open to doing tiny home murals now. In fact, I'm merging more into tiny home murals than I am massive murals, only really because of my scoliosis, you know? Climbing three stories is nice, I love it, but yeah, my back will tell me. If you at all are interested in having a mural painted in inside or outside your tiny home and or on a fence outside you can uh, contact me and if you want to hear some of my music you can go onto SoundCloud and type Barbara Andrews forever and check out some of my songs that I've written thank 
you for watching our video and for stopping by Tiny House Expedition. I'm Alexis. And I'm Christian. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And for more tiny home tours and stories, click the videos below. And join us on Instagram for bonus content. Including face-to-face -face conversations with us. <laughs> <laughs> we hope to see you there. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.